Hello everyone. Uh, we are learning how to convert the given Moore machine to the Mealy machine. Let's say the Moore machine is given like this in the form of the table, which is the transition table. And uh, if you have to convert this to the Mealy machine, it means that I will have to associate the outputs with the transitions. So what you can do here that let's say the, we are moving from Q0 to Q1 by taking a symbol zero. So whatever is the output associated with the Q1 state will be the output associated with this transition. So I hope I have, if I was able to make you understand or we can discuss it one more time. Let's say I'm moving from Q0 with zero symbol to Q1 state. So what, what will be the transition? Uh, what will be the output associated with this transition? That will be whatever output is associated with the Q1 state will be the output associated with this transition. Hence, we will apply the transition associated with Q1 state. It means zero with this transition. Now, if I'm moving from Q0 to Q2, the, uh, the output associated with Q2 state will be the output associated with this transition. And then if I'm taking the transitions from Q1, so Q1 on zero goes to Q3. So I will take the output associated with the Q3 state and will associate here. Similarly on Q1 by taking a small one symbol, uh, sorry, one symbol, it is moving to the Q2 state. So whatever is the output associated with the Q2 state will be the output associated with the, this transition. If I'm taking it with Q2, so Q2 moves to Q2. So Q2, the, the output associated with the Q2 is one. So one is attached with this transition. And then Q2 is moving to Q1 on taking one. So output associated with this will be zero. Then I'm starting with the Q3. So Q3 moves to Q0 by taking a symbol zero. So the output associated with the Q0 is one. So we are attaching this on this transition. Q3 remains at itself. It means one, the output generated by this transition will be, sorry, this state will be associated with this transition. So this way we have converted the given Moore machine to the Mealy machine. So as you know that in the, when we are drawing the, uh, when you are drawing the Mealy machine, this third part, which is the output alphabet is not mentioned because the outputs are associated with the transition. Hence, I'm skipping this. And the rest of the part is actually the Mealy machine for the given Moore machine. When you're doing it in your examination, by table conversion, you should draw the table of the Moore machine separately. Then you should draw the table of the Mealy machine separately. And then you should draw the diagram or the state transition diagram for Mealy machine as well. For example, if I draw the state transition diagrams here, then the states here are Q0. So let us first draw the diagram. So Q0 is the start state that I forgot to mention here. So Q0 is the start state. On zero, it moves to Q1. So on zero, it is moving to Q1. And the output associated with this is zero. And with one, it is moving to Q2 state. And the output associated with this transition is one. Q1 moves to Q3 state by taking the input symbol zero. And the output associated with this transition is one. Q3, sorry, Q1 moves to Q2 on taking the symbol one as the input and it produces the output one. And if I start with the Q2, Q2 remains at itself with zero, but the output produced by this is one. Q2 moves to Q1 with one and it produces the output zero. And then Q3 moves to Q0 on taking a symbol zero and produces the output one. And Q3 remains at itself by taking the symbol one as an input and it produces the output one. So this is the Mealy machine for the given Moore machine. So I hope this is clear to you. And this way we can construct any uh, Moore machine. We can convert any Moore machine to the Mealy machine. And this is a very simple process. From the next lecture, we will start discussing about the conversion of the uh, Mealy machine to the Moore machine. Thanks for watching.